Joining us is Hologic CEO Steve McMillan. Steve, your stock has been like a moonshot here. What's going on in the underlying business? Are, are you seeing the kind of demand that, that is driving that enthusiasm and that, that increase? Yeah, thank you, Sarah, for having us. And, you know, clearly you, uh, you had us when we first launched our test, and it has been incredible demand. And I'd say, you know, first and foremost, if you think about with my industry hat on, what's been lost probably in the incredible ramp up in this country, go back the month of March as a country, we did about 1 million tests for COVID. The month of April was 5 million. The month of May was 10 million. And we are trending well north of 14 million this month. I mean, we did the two days, Saturday and Sunday of this weekend, we did over a million tests as a country. So that's our industry and the private sector response, of which Hologic has been a big part of that. And our team is just so proud to be able to be on the front lines of, of really trying to help fight this pandemic and, frankly, ultimately get America back to work, get our kids back to school and, and make a difference. So on that theme of getting back to work, how are you enabling that? Who's buying your tests? Are you giving them to businesses to test their employees? No, I'd say we are really the, we're providing to the hospitals, to the Department of Health Labs, and to the companies like the Quest Lab Force or other companies that are providing the testing services. So I'd say in that context, we're almost, call it that we're the jet engine manufacturer. So we're not the airplane manufacturer. We're allowing those companies to then go to the employers, go to the hospital or go to, to the universities and provide the testing for their employees. Steve, what, so, por what portion of your business is focused on, on these, uh, these COVID tests at the moment? Uh, is, it, is there any let up at the moment? Uh, are there any other uh, typical uh, medical procedures that are starting to pick up and, and take up a little bit more of your time again? Sure. You know, this is obviously a business, Wilford. We weren't even in a few months ago, but we were able to pivot from all of our diagnostics testing in sexually transmitted infections, reproductive health, viral load things, and shift it towards COVID. So it is a meaningful chunk of our revenue right now. We are nicely starting to see some of the other businesses picking back up. I mean, cervical cancer screening, which is PAP testing, you know, plus HPV testing our mammography business, as well as our surgical business on other women's health at issues like endometrial ablation, fibroid removal. We are seeing those procedures picking back up. They bottomed very sharply in the month of April, came back in May, and, and they're coming back here in June as well. So, you know, it's all starting to go in the right direction. Uh, and, you know, we also are, are making a difference on the other side as well. You know, finally, Steve, there's still questions about accuracy. I, I know you guys put out numbers, you and other companies, 95, 98, 99 percent accuracy. And yet so many anecdotal evidence of people getting two or three false, false negative tests, even when they have all the symptoms of the virus. I mean, is it, why is this still happening? Sure. At the end of the day, Sarah, you know, this is where nucleic acid testing comes in. When you get the high throughput machines and the assays that we make, what is differentiated really molecular diagnostics at the highest level is the sensitivity and specificity that's really been brought by the higher volume tests like ours that require very little manual intervention. So a lot of the early tests were much more manually driven. They required multiple steps often in the lab. That was part of the reason why it was taking so long for people to get the results. As you go to our system, what's made us the world leader in HPV, in sexually transmitted infections, is the remarkably high levels of accuracy and high throughput that we bring to the industry by high workflow and manual, or you know, workflow automation and not needing the manual pieces. So I think as we have ramped, you should be seeing those clearly go down. Now, having said, there will be people that may think they have COVID that don't, that they may have some other you know, virus or some of that. But at the end of the day, mm. ours are remarkably accurate. Steve, thanks so much for joining us. Great. Thank you guys for having us.